All right. Oh, wait. I saw that the audio was messed up. This will be interesting. It looks like we won't be having Fasting Senna because Bard is a terrible CSer. So, hmm. it's very interesting. All I right. feel like Senna's, Senna's just going to get run down this game. I would have loved to see the Tom Kench. Um... This looks like a 10, 10 death plus game for Senna. <laughs> Have to see. There we go. Hopefully we should I, be yeah. back in action here pretty soon with the stream getting back sorted. I don't know what happened. I think that Streamlabs just crashed. But Oof. Just how it be sometimes. Yeah. Okay, I let in Kyle Cotiwampo Griffith. Let me fix this on stream, fix the overlay at least. There we go. Can you hear us, Kyle? I don't know. Uh, oh. Maybe? I am here. I am having technical difficulties with my camera, so you will not be able to see my beautiful face. My sincere apologies. I mean, we can still see your beautiful face. It's just... <laughs> um... Ah, Cody, I like the new shirt. Thank you, Very thank professional, you. professional, my friend. So, the last pick, Talon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, we went to this... A... This, this is this is planned? Yep. Are we are we just are we just saying? Oh, you did a Ben Talon. We just got to show it now, or what's? No, we we went into the draft thinking we wanted to play Talon, thinking we wanted to have an AD assassin in the mid lane, and we'd expected to get Yasuo with the Talon being banned, and they banned the Yasuo and left the Talon up, and Sansa Massey was more than happy to take uh, Talon. So we're expecting mm -hmm. lots of roams, lots of flanks, and some parkour. Mm -hmm. And I was I was talking about the Leona ban from the side of Calgary, but I feel like you guys weren't going to go for the Leona, right? You Was Bard a pick that you wanted to go for? Bard was on the table. It was an option that we had kind of in our back pocket. It wasn't something that was our primary um, idea. Leo was not what we were planning on playing, so we're happy with that ban. Mm -hmm. uh, but, mm -hmm. you know, Evan Cake said, pick me Bard. And he said it with some conviction, and so we're giving him a shot. <laughs> All okay. Right. Pull out the bard. And this Senna pick I have to talk about because mm -hmm. I feel like we haven't seen this until actually in LCS today, um, 100 Thieves in versus Cloud9. Have you? I or did. What was the I watched. Influence? Yeah, I see. so. Uh, it was, was you. <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, no, this was not something. It was actually, we had a long conversation about this before the game. We talked about whether we were going to go Fasting Senna or not. And we decided mm -hmm. we're probably not going Fasting Senna, but we mm -hmm. do want to play it. It's something that uh, Tyler has been practicing. And so, you know, we're just hoping, you know, it's it's a little bit of a risky pick with the Hecarim. Hecarim's very capable of getting onto a Senna, making our life difficult. But mm -hmm. it's something that we feel is strong right now, so we're giving it a shot. But it will not be paired with a Tom Kench, and we will not have Senna taking a support <laughs> item. <laughs> okay, All I right. was I, I would have loved to seen the yeah the Tom Kench, but mm. it looks like Tui will just have to probably int this game and let <laughs> let his team carry. <laughs> it's nothing on him; it's just his pick. Or it's, the Bard it's... could pop off, you know. Yeah, we're we're relying very heavily on the bard to be able to get Senna out of okay. sticky situations. But there's no question, Thresh is a strong pick into Senna, so he's gonna have to have some some quick feet to make sure yeah. he doesn't get hit by hooks. Course, and we're currently loading into games, so final thoughts going into this match. Uh, skill matchup. We drafted comfort all around. These are all picks the guys wanted to play, and I'm just gonna rely on them to play their best and win the game for us. All right, and all right. they didn't do the respect talent ban, so. They deserve the loss. I'm sorry, University hey, of Calgary. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, Kyle. <laughs> See you, Kyle. All right. All right. Loading in a match here, hovering at 96% on my end, so we will be in very shortly. I mean, 
I've played a quite a few tank Talon or like Gore Drinker Talon games myself, and it's felt pretty strong. So Gore Drinker I, needs to be nerfed. <laughs> it is stupid. It's a stupid item. Excuse my language, but stupid. <laughs> uh, stupid's not a swear. It's fine. Um, yeah, he can pretty much tank the entire, like, all the champions from Calgary. I mean, I don't think he has a problem once he gets Gore Drinker, Ravenous, and maybe, like, a Death Dance. He'll be fine. And the game is... It sometimes it comes sometimes gets stuck here on this screen. We just get to um appreciate it here for a second. Preemptively switch that for you. Oh, it's light. Looks like we'll be getting in. There we go. So we got confirmation from Greg McGregor that Evans Bard is cracked, so I I'm feeling confident. I'm excited to see it. I, I trust it. I trust it. Like honestly. I, I am a fervent believer that not, like, I know I'm saying the Talon ban a lot. It might not be because of the Talon, but I still think that even just not having the Talon ban just gave Pepperdine the edge that they needed. Like, you know, not even that yeah, we're playing Talon. You're absolutely right. It's just the mental mental edge, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's that, it's that crucial mental edge. Mm -hmm. And... Shoot. Pretty uh, a five point on the side of Pepperdine, not quite a five point on the side of uh, University of Calgary, but still watching those entrances. I was just, uh, it kind of sucks that you can't see the secondary tree on Spectator, so. Hmm. Yeah. Unfortunately, that just is how it is. Oh, for some reason it didn't save my change. I changed it to UBC on the overlay, but it didn't change in here. Whoops. Let me change that. We are not against UBC. We're against University of Calgary. Okay, so pissed. Scott gets an early ward on the blue buff. And it looks like a... Wow, a solo start. From... From Jungle Tyler. <laughs> on that Udyr. Oh dear. And again, I feel like Udyr can get away with this because he clears tremendously fast. It's actually criminal that he can do it. Like a full clear in under three minutes. And... This will be interesting. So it looks like they might have a little tussle for the top scuttle because both junglers mm. are doing a six camp and they're passing up to their top side jungle and it looks like with mid because it's Heimer versus Talon Santo won't have the priority I don't know if Scott let's look at the lane so it's pretty even so might be bloodshed in the next minute yeah good prediction there also, will this be an AP Gragas top or a tank? I feel like it's gonna be an AP Gragas because yeah, they need the AP damage. So I was and thinking with the Doran's ring start. Yeah, that and uh, the phase rush. So oh, true, if it true. was tank Gragas, they would have or Scott would have went to grasp of the undying. Yeah, I didn't even pay attention to that. You're very right. That's totally fine. And. Uh, a lot of pro players have been going Comet on AP Gragas top, but Scott and other streamers like the boss of FFS has been going Phase Rush, which I personally like better than Comet. But just an interesting. I don't. I just don't get why people go Comet on Gragas. I don't get it. Then again, who am I to question the pros? And we look like oh. Got a pause. Scott, our ADC has disconnected. Interesting. We didn't even get the notification through, but I trust. There also might have been a disconnect from Discord as well. So right now, and at I this point in the game... I wasn't pay t paying attention, but I think Windchill just barely nabbed the scuttle. And the question mark pings are coming out from... Yeah, it looks like we're starting Eklund. back up here soon, but 
Right now, we're pretty much dead even on, on CS, and that yeah, scuttlecraft so Udyr was just... nabbed by Udyr. It... Mm -hmm. Well, I thought we were ready to get started. Oh. No, I think it, I think Hecarim got it because oh. they both have 24 CS. So mm. now they're both rushing to the... Yeah, Hecarim got the scuttle, so now he's running to the... He's rushing towards the bot side. Yeah, Udyr is looking like he's looking for is just gonna... Yeah. Oh, no. Santo taking some poke as he gets stunned with that Hecarim E. And Evan almost falls down to the bot lane. Has to... Burn the heal for the ignite. And there might be a dive in the bot side. There we go. And Evan will... Oh, he doesn't drop. Very well played. Directed cam failed me on that one. I was trying to get you there, but by the time I got there, it was... Uh... Oh, we got a gank, gank coming out here in the mid lane. A flash from the Udyr into the stun. Very First well done. To win chill 400. That was a clean, that was clean execution from Pepperdine. I feel like Heimer couldn't have done anything in that situation. Yeah, Heimer's gonna use his teleport to get back into mid lane. Won't have that for map pressure. And it looks like the junglers will be pretty much dead even. Neck and neck. And Winchell actually thought Hecarim might have stole his Gromp, so he chose to leave it. But little did he know, it's actually up. <laughs> it's still there. <laughs> yeah, it's that fine. Ugly Toad is still there. And a tear comes out from Gragas. Looks like he. I feel like a tear buy is more of a personal preference. And. Um. It helps with your mana management, and it's only for 400 gold, so it's a very valuable buy. The yeah, Gragas. the tier and the Dark Seal simply confirms that it's AP Gragas, if we didn't already know. It's very unlikely to be anything else at this point. Also, Santa Mousy taking a lot of poke in the mid lane from that Heimerdinger. Yeah. Heimerdinger looking like a very oppressive pick here. Currently 11 up a, CS up. Yeah, CS lead. Hopefully not a repeat of <laughs> of our last game. Yeah, well, unlike a repeat of the last game, the Senna is opening up a minor CS lead currently. It's going to be made up for by Kaisa here, but while in lane, being a bit more dominant over her shorter range counterpart. Oh, actually, Kaisa is up CS. Well, she wasn't before she got the wave that was right at her tower, Cody. That's why I said it'll, she'll catch up but during lane. Oh, no. A bit of a gank coming out here. Hecarim in a good spot. That's the flash. But he does survive. Mm -hmm. And I feel like Scott should back right now and try to TP for drag, but choosing to stay. Being as... a bit greedy there. As Udyr goes into Hecarim's jungle, places a deep ward. Notably, Talon has nice. made up quite a bit of that CS difference there in the mid lane. And Hecarim's looking to go back top. Scott is in danger here. Scott, he I think Scott might fall here. here. Oh no, he's falling back. Oh, and he does get away the phase rush. Yeah, procs the phase rush. Good job there. And that just gives Pepperdine access to a free dragon. See Hakram is pinging, pinging his red buff. As Tyler does opt to go for the steal. Calgary does not know about this. And with the deep ward that Pepperdine plays, Tyler will be alerted if Hakram is near. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent vision control right now. So this is very Pepperdine. sneaky and Calgary doesn't know. It looks oh, like Hecarim he is might. There. And he just takes it just like that. Nice job from Winchill 400. And Tyler actually, oh, oh unfortunately. <laughs> takes the Raptors as well. Oh. Hecarim's able, I think, to get eight gold from one of the little guys, but. Yeah. Definitely Tyler just it early. That. Yeah. But he's fine though. 
Just gonna full clear his jungle again. So Scott actually, if you can see on the right side, he's actually full health again. And he didn't back from the Hecarim gang, just to show you how mm -hmm. strong his passive is to help him regen that HP. So one of the reasons that Gragas top is really strong right now. Definitely, and you'll see that because of that Envy bait, as well as just generally the jungle dominance of Lintel 400, he is opening up a bit of a CS lead on the Hecarim. And the Hecarim does not have the camps available to catch up. That is true. That is because their um, Calgary's bot lane actually farmed his Krugs and Tyler stole his red. So yeah, indeed. Just Udyr just being the faster farmer is just outpacing the Hecarim. Yep. A bit of a... A bit of something was covered up there in the top side. The Hecarim is there. Is Looks like here? he still wants to go for it. Warren is already there and the bull comes out. Wincho in a bit of trouble, but it looks like he might only lose the red buff. And Wincho grabs there. the red buff. Oh, and they the grab. kill goes over to wow. Zunia with the Senna ultimate. The Bard ult goes down, doesn't ultimately snag anything, but this fight yeah, this is turned very around. good for Pepperdine. Wow. That was very unfortunate because the Hecarim smited the red buff and it was left at like 40 HP. Oh no, it looks like Zuyu will go down to Chi will carry, but multiple ultimates and the Ignite goes down. And Thresh's Flash. Uh, goes down to get the kill onto Kaisa, and another kill will go over to Pepperdine here in the mid yeah. lane. So the Bard ro I, I actually didn't see this, but the Bard roamed up, and that's what mm -hmm. allowed Pepperdine to win in the top side. Unfortunately, Sun on the bot side was caught out, and overall, still a net positive. Yeah, it's fine. still a, what, three for one for the side of Pepperdine, so worth, honestly. And one of those skills does go over to the AD carry Sana, so... Very good ultimate from Suyu. Indeed. But now, Udi is just massively ahead, up 14 CS, and... I, I just checked, and he's up 1.3k gold, just spent mm. it all. Has his mythic item already. Very, very strong right now. So what I think Pepperdine should do right now is just use this lead, try to secure vision, and then dragons just will be theirs. It looks like it will either be a cloud or infernal soul, so. Either one well, good for Pepperdine. Uh, I feel I, I prefer the infernal soul here. Hmm. Um, of well, course, I think everyone always prefers infernal soul, almost, but. Yeah, but uh, just in this case, the Udyr is maxing Phoenix Stance, so mm. that Cloud Soul will be very kind of redundant on him. Mm. Oh, Senna and caught Senna out gets hooked. Should be able to live here, has heal. Oh, it does go. Oh, very unfortunate. Wow. Does go down, but the ultimate is burned from Kaisa to secure it. I feel like uh, Senna could have got out there if she just ran, but she was trying to predict the Kaisa W and unfortunately stayed in the Kaisa's auto attack range. Mm. So just an unfortunate situation. The Kaisa gets a play, so she but is Bard pretty massive is right now. Bard is there with the Udyr. And University of Calgary says, oh dear, I don't want any of that. As well as a scuffle going down here in the mid lane. A shield from Senna goes down oh. onto Santa Massey. And unfortunately, unfortunately. Jinx, we both say. And it looks like uh, Windchill, though, will be here to uh, secure that kill. So that Q from Santa Massey is, again, very unfortunate. And it's fine. Another kill goes over to the Udyr. I think Pepperdine's still okay with that. With the Udyr, now 3-0 and 2. But also for, for the side of University of Calgary, I wouldn't be wearing either because 
the hyper will will always be doing damage I feel like so him even though being one in three is still gonna be a very strong pick in this game looks like the University of Calgary is going to try very very hard to get this dragon they are all down here on the spot side but Pepperdine is as well we'll have to see if Pepperdine gets in in time to keep them from securing this dragon I doubt it Senna doesn't have all and Santos all is down so they would just yeah. have to give it it does go over to Calgary Honestly, why is if Pepperdine did not take a fight that they will probably wind up losing? Do you start again? Oh, Grace? Mm -hmm. Yes? What did you just say? I'm sorry, I missed it. Oh, I said that it was wise of Pepperdine to not take a fight that they probably won't win, given, like you said, Senna yeah, yeah. R was down and it was being burned very, very quickly by Kaisa there. Yeah, exactly. I just saw bubblegum combo in the chat say I came here to praise God and watch Pepperdine win and I'm all out of prayers. <laughs> oh no, don't say that. Oh, don't don't say that at all. Greg McGregor says I used all mine on Pep's win rate. <laughs> hopefully not, hopefully not. There's always more power to prayer. Send one our way. I mean Scott and I mean, the whole top side, Santo, Tyler, and Scott are looking very strong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and currently uh, Tyler with a nearly 2k gold lead over his jungle counterpart. But also, I feel like, let's see, Kaisa is up 700 gold on her counterpart. So she will be the carry on the side of Calgary and... Mm -hmm. We'll just see who can... So this game just looks like a battle between Kaisa and Ud here. See who can carry harder. But just generally, I feel like Kaisa will won't be able to kill the Udir until the very late game. With how ahead Udir is, he just won't be dying. Oh, and here, of Udyr course, is here. she is good as dead. She Give tried to maybe to get Senna. something from the uh, Senna in return, but ultimately doesn't get anything. A scuffle going up here in top side as well as bot side. And Gracchus should be heavily favored in this 1v1 as soon as he gets a little bit more items. Mm -hmm. Once he completes his mythic, gets more cooldown reduction, or... A bit of an engage Haste. going on here on the bot side. Ghost, I think, coming out here from... No, not quite Ghost, just his E. And both sums coming out from Senna. At least it goes down to the Thresh. Another mm -hmm. fight in the mid lane. Yeah, Santa Masi in a good spot this here. Time, does get the kill onto Emperor Trejan. This time does not miss his Q and grabs <laughs> a kill under the, under the High Redinger. Yep. Hecarim does pop the Rift Herald and will use that bot side, but probably not the ideal usage. But just the score drinker pick is so strong. As you can, at the end of the fight, Santa was only about like half HP, just just to show the prowess of Gore Drinker. Mm -hmm. Once he got that item, he became a very, very formidable force here on the Rift. I just like to talk about Senna's build right now. It looks like she's going into the Rage Blade after the Kraken Slayer. I personally haven't played Senna too much myself, mm -hmm. and this looks like an int to me, so. <laughs> I mean, I've uh, seen like Moonstaff Senna support, so AP that, Senna okay. is like. That's because LS said Moonstaff and Moonstone and Staff of Blowing Water. Staff of Flowing Water is broken, but. I've never seen this build before. I don't know. Have you? No, I have not. I, I do not frequently see Senna AD carry anymore. When I see her, she's normally in the support role. Although it's but very hard to, to trust, tell. We have to yeah. trust Suyu. We have to. The new Tyler. Tyler 2.0. It is still early on in the season, and the only builds thus far have been like Divine Sunderer and Nanamune, oh, so... Heimerdinger caught out by the Bard ultimate. Yeah. 
good a bit of old. trouble. We'll give yeah. the kill over to Santo Massi. He's now 3 1 and 4 on this Talon. And Santa Mossy is looking to go into Lethality next. Very interesting. I'm guessing this, if he's going with like a tankier style, I'm hoping he might go into an Edge of Night. Oh no, the Thrush is in trouble here. A beautiful coordination of, ult of abilities, excuse me, from Pepperdine. Santa falls, Santa but... does go down, but Pepperdine is in a good spot. Scott flashes Scott in. Scott does go in. Gets nice. two kills for his life Very in the well tower. Done. Bard's in trouble here. Will use his tunnel to get away. And, and burns a TP like... from Heimerdinger. Oh, I was going to say wow. Bard was going to live, but unfortunately the Kai'Sa is there. Pepperdine might not be able to get out of this. And a triple kill. A and quadra an kill over to the Kai'Sa. The Kai'Sa. Very well played from the Kai'Sa ults in and uses the Gale Force to pick up the Bard. And a beautiful knockup from Orin grabs the shutdown onto Udyr as well. And I think Kai'Sa is very huge after this. Picked up yeah, all Yeah, you were saying kills. Kai'Sa was going to be the carry, and it looks like uh, I think it's Kai will carry. Deset heard you and was like, yes, indeed, I will. <laughs> exactly, yeah. He decided to say, you know what? I'm going to put on my big kid pants and do it. So this Kaisa is uh, is about 3.3k gold up over Suyu Senna. It's a very scary Kaisa. Kaisa currently has the most income in the game. And Calgary has a 1,000 gold lead right now, and it's looking it's looking rough for Pepperdine. Yeah, that taking down that Kaisa in fights will be a top priority for Pepperdine. Mm -hmm. If Kaisa goes down early, they win the fight. I agree, but I, f I think that'll be ver something very rare. It's mm -hmm. it's gonna be very hard with with the front line of Orn and Hecarim. If she just stays next to her Thresh with the Lantern, then I don't think she'll ever get caught. So Pepperdine much. Just find a way to catch out the Kaisa. It's up to them. Mm -hmm. The ball is in Pepperdine's court. Let's see what they do with it. And very interesting, Scott, although he died that team fight, actually has a 150 gold shutdown on his head. Mm -hmm. Right, game. Two kills he was able to get under tower. Oh, that's right. No, you're right. So actually going into, so Scott just bought a needlessly large rod, so that actually might go into the, um, he might upgrade the tier actually, which is something I wasn't expecting. Another fight. Stopwatch off. coming out here from the Heimerdinger, he doesn't quite have it upgraded to a Zonia's yet, getting a but lot a good of damage Everfrost. down to Santo Massey. Santo has a flash and beautiful, wow. A wonderful coordination there. Do you try to ultimate to save Santa, but it didn't end up working? And of course, a trade kill on the top side and the bottom side of the map. But yeah, that Everfrost just barely clipping Santo made him have to, or bought time for the Hecarim to mm -hmm. come up there. And it looks like they're starting the Baron. Wow. I mean, they have running Kaisa, up. it should go very quickly, but this is a bit greedy from... Bard flashes on the Heimerdinger. Oh no, it looks like Kaisa is going to get the kill, and she's going to kill Suyu Senna. Nope, not quite. Scott's there. And looking like Kaisa will drop here, goes to the Udyr, a big 750 gold shutdown. The Udyr is Udyr. thirsting for this Heimerdinger right now. This run... Oh, and the... Runs I love in. what he tried to do. So he oh, tried no. to get He's the flame pop, trouble. but... Windchill 400 paying for that greed. <laughs> yeah, that's very unfortunate. I th oh. <gasps> Scott gets him <laughs> with the explosive cast there. They think he's going to die, die too. No, he gets away. <laughs> Scott gets away. What spiciness wow. from this Pepperdine v. University of Calgary game. Oh, wait. They're still going. Apparently. <laughs> Very interesting. Talon can hop over the horn little pillar thing, so not a problem for the Talon. 
but Udyr tried to use his ultimate to Oh, attack Hecarim him. comes in. He does get the shutdown onto Scott. Scott yep. took the bait. That's true. As he does finish the Seraphines, that's what I was looking for. The Seraphs embrace, not Seraphine. <laughs> yeah. Same diff. <laughs> we get what you mean. <laughs> But now the shutdown goes to the Hecaro. With Death Stance and Triforce, I think Udyr still wins the 1v1 in the jungle matchup. So. Certainly is a scary Hecaro, though. Hecaro is sure he's itemizing against the Talon in the, in the center right now. So he's probably looking for those backline dives. Mm. Um, probably will let his team fend off the Gragas and the Udyr as he's just not built for it. Or itemized. Oh, so you cut out here and will go down to a very well coordinated mid lane from University of Calgary. Thresh blows his flash. Mm. Very well done. The drag coming up in 15 seconds looks like they have to get this one too. Or less than 15 seconds. And the Orin upgrade comes out for the Kai'Sa. She has the Typhoon. Wow. Very important to note here that third dragon was picked up by University of Calgary. So Pepperdine definitely does not want this infernal drake to go over to them. So the next dragon will be crucial. Guard ulti third. time. Okay. And that was an exchange. And Talon does end up going for the Edge of Night, so... Being a little bit... tanky with the health. And the spell shield. Still anyone's game, but Pepperdine definitely should be feeling the pressure given the dragon advantage from University of Calgary and just how well these team fights seem to be going for them overall, especially on the back of Kai will carries Kaisa. That's right. Third Dragon is very important because it gives the team that has three dragons so much leeway like into what they want to do. They could trade a dragon for Baron, they could always like opt for a steal. I mean just the idea of soul is very mm -hmm. They basically guaranteed that Pepperdine will have to team fight them sometime in the next three and a half minutes. If Pepperdine doesn't, they're in a even worse spot, so. Mm -hmm. That's right. And Pepperdine just farming it up, trying to mm -hmm. get their power spikes. Yeah. We see Scott's going for the, I think it's called Okay, it's called Blighting Jewel. <laughs> oh no, Evan Cake's caught out a bit there. The Kaisa ultimate will come out and kill him. Scott in trouble as well. Double kill going over the Kaisa. 10 2 and 0 this Kaisa. Wow. And she. Four items strong. Or technically five items. Yeah, it's going for Baron again. University of Calgary. Starting to worry that they didn't respect the Talon ban because they didn't need to, Cody. I'm real worried. <laughs> looks like. Looks like Pepperdine oh, wants to go for it. Flash is in. in to steal it. Stole the Stole Baron. The Baron. Will Very he well get done. out with his life? He's I feel like trying. he will. But wow. Very well done. That Baron, what is that? 2000 HP, and he still managed. Of oh, course, Hecarim and Kaisa doesn't down. have ultimate. Wow. I didn't think he would go down there, but... They were chasing as ferociously as they could. Kaisa, forced to be reckoned with. Very well played from Windchill 400. But a gorgeous steal. Important to note that neither Scott, Windchill, or Evan Cakes will have the Baron buff. I don't know. I know Senna does. I think Santo Masi might. He does. Oh. 
and we'll just have to, we'll just have to see what Pepperdine does with this Baron buff. Santo looking like he might get caught here. Yeah, he's a bit caught out there in the bot side. Ultimate for safety and gets out. Well played. Oh, but the Orin's wrapping around. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> wow, so Calgary sent five members here. We'll see if Scott can get anything topside. He doesn't have Baron buff. The dragon is up in about 50 seconds. They are sending the Heimerdinger to match Scott topside. But of course, Heimerdinger does have TP. So, I mean, both Orin and Heimerdinger have TP, so. Any one of them could have been sent topside to deal with it. And Gragas is actually TP's bot side. They're looking for a play here. Gragas is coming in from behind. Hector bolts onto the... Kaisa flashes to the center and this... Uses is what you're talking about. Stopwatch. She's looking like she's caught out. Goes down to the bard. Oh, an explosive cast gets the Heimerdinger caught out. Being chased down by a Scott and the Bard here. He's stunned. Well, just like you said, just have to get the Kaisa before the fight. Yeah. Pepperdine, as soon as they saw Kaisa go in, they were like, Pivot! Everybody pivot! <laughs> Kaisa. Exactly. Chasing down the Orn now. We'll so very well done kill. by Scott, though. There, he, Even before Kaisa went in, Scott TP'd in advance. They were looking for a Came place. Came in from so. behind, yeah. Very well done. A very spread out fight, but surprisingly coordinated from the side of Pepperdine. Definitely a lot of communication was happening to help everybody know where the Kaisa was, where the focus needed to be. And overall, that was probably the best case scenario for how a fight can go versus University of Calgary right now. And Evacakes on the Bard picks up the Kaisa and picks up the Dragon. His Bard is indeed cracked. So <laughs> we'll see what he can do with the shutdown gold. Yeah, the insane shutdown down gold. Got about a thousand gold from that, Kaisa. And we see from from the chat, um, Gragas actually pings his flash, so they might be looking to make a play when his flash is up. Maybe looking to one shot the Kaisa. Of course, if I was AP. Pepperdine, that would be the goal. <laughs> mm -hmm. And with his AP build and Kaisa going for Zonias and not something like a Banshees, Kaisa runs he right will by one shot. <laughs> a and she word, will get so one shot by by Scott. Yeah. She runs by a wolf. Picks it up. The Kaisa just ran by it, like just was tunneled in on looking elsewhere on the map. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I was like, she that's right. a blue ward. You could have could shot that, but okay. <laughs> Wait, in the bottom side? Yes. Is it still there? Is it gone? I thought so. I or is that gone. a zombie ward? Uh, I might be blind. Who knows? <laughs> it's ten o'clock my time, it's my bedtime. I keep old man yeah. hours. I mean, sometimes you just get tunneled and you just wanna... She over there, she, I think she was... She just wanted to get that farm. I mean, mm -hmm. ADC players, what can I say? <laughs> just thinking... And Thresh also, okay, almost walks over a blue ward. And Scott very wisely backs off here. Yeah, still hovering a bit. Too close for comfort there. Oh, there you go, Scott. <laughs> Walks in the bush. <laughs> yeah, Scott's in a bit of trouble. So his ultimate will not and come through fast down. enough. Tyler was trying to get there to help. Does catch off the Heimerdinger. Heimerdinger well, Zonia comes out. Looks like they're off to the fight Ward here. Ultimate 45. gets a beautiful knockup on the side of Pepperdine. Evan Cakes goes down to Emperor Trajan's Heimerdinger. And Pepperdine has to run away. Yeah. Very unfortunate. I would have liked to see the, the Zarnia's Hourglass come out from the Gragas, but he's looking to go for the pure AP one shot. Do you have to say the... that was the first assist for Kaisa? Nope. Oh. You gotta imagine she's she's getting angry that she didn't get that kill. Come on, guys. But wow, 300 CS, about 9 CS per minute, doing very well for herself. But Scott here looking. Either for the Horizon Focus or the Rabdon's Death Cap. Either way, just looking to blow up this Kaisa. I'm checking on the stream. Yeah, she did walk by a blue ward. I know we're way past that at this point. But... <laughs> Wait, but the blue ward's not there anymore. So did she auto-attack it or? I don't know. 
Anyways, he picks up bread for himself. It could be glitching and not appearing. Or again, this could oh. just be a grand hallucination on my part. There is a... I see there's a blue ward, um, the tribush in the bot lane, so... Yes, that's what I meant. Oh, I'm not crazy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Okay, great. There we go. There we go. All okay. right. Another that's, that's Baron going over to University of Calgary, perhaps. We'll see if... Uh, Scott TP's in. Get another steal. Oh, they back off on it. It was going down very quickly for the Kaiba. It looks like Calgary was just trying to force out Gragas' TP as they're still hovering and about to start it again. And this Baron speed with Heimerdinger and Kaisa is insanely fast. Dropping so quick here. Tyler. Oh, he does not close. get the steal this time. He will. A beautiful oh. three man ult and a that zero man ult from Scott. And I was but, I was marveling at how fast the Udir was. Yeah, but a brilliant ult from Bard. It was a very, very good ultimate, I agree. Allows Tyler to escape. And with his Baron. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> a, wow, a beautiful W from Kaisa. Picks up the Bard. At this point, anyone who is not. I don't know. Probably Udir or Gragas right now. If they get a uh, Kaisa W, they're going to be in a bad spot. Or maybe Talon. Maybe Talon. I feel like Kaisa has both Dragon. summoners here and Zhonya's. She is safe. Windchill tries to steal it, doesn't get it. The Infernal Soul will go over to the side of the University of Calgary. It looks like third time's not the charm. It was first time's the charm, man. Tyler's out of luck. <laughs> Winchell tried so hard and got so far, but in the end, it did not even matter. Exactly. So third of five minutes in now, we will get our first inhibitor. Kaisen Zonias will come out. Oh, the cast from in. Scott comes out. Kaisen does not go down. Scott's in a bad way. Lives. Oh. My game froze. My game froze as well. Okay. Can I just say, I was surprised that the Kaisa did not die there. Flat, or just goes in, Gale Force, and is able to just get out. Wonder if I'll ever see the screen move again. I think it's it's pretty much over, though. Um, looks like they're... From the frozen screen, it looks like Evan's going to fall. And they will yeah. pick up. We can these really turns. analyze this. I, I am concerned that this is all we're going to get, and the match ended, and now we are stuck because of the three minute spectator delay. We will see. I for, think they're done. Yeah, I, for I'm just a second. Okay, we are going to go over and show you our beautiful faces again. Sorry we couldn't show you a uh, definitive conclusion, but. Pretty certain that uh, they are out of game. And if you look, I don't know if you can, but if you show the damage grass at the end of the game, the Kaisa just uh, hard yeah, carry I need and the to Heimer exit the game here. And the Heimer as well, despite being camped. Show that. So the Heimer, despite being two and seven, does pretty well for himself as well. So. Yeah, little flash of the damage graph, but that's all you're gonna get. <laughs> Not to spoil you with being able to analyze it in depth. You just get a little flash of it. Pause if you really want to see it. It looks like we're creating the next custom, so we're gonna get right into it here pretty quick. Again, sorry for the anticlimactic conclusion. Well, I mean, it's pretty climactic until the screen froze because the league client decided that we didn't get to see it anymore. Mm -hmm. We are getting into lobby now. And we see Liquid Core JJ. This is the real Liquid Core JJ, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely not the... F this is the first time I've ever made that joke, yeah. 
Yep. He's but. actually a, uh, a, he, he's what, what would be, uh, he's a screen arts major at Pepperdine. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I don't know what Andy's actual major is, but. This sure game, we're lovely. choosing to swap out supports. Mm hmm Probably going to end up seeing a tanky hook-based support or a Galio, perhaps, from Liquid Core JJ. Mm -hmm. Or Liquid Core JJ. <laughs> Though perhaps the actual professional one as well. Yeah. And I've also heard Andy talk about, or Liquid Core JJ talk about, playing the Shen support. Mm. So could be interesting to see that, but... See? So, it looks like we just switched sides, so. Does winning side get side selection? Well, they chose blue side they... first time, so maybe yeah. it's losing side gets choice. Mm. So, Pepperdine, in that case, then Pepperdine actually favoring the blue side. Mm hmm. Now, I'm very interested to see what. Pepperdine will choose for their first pick. Um, Let me uh, get stuff ready. So Pepperdine won, right? Yes, indeed. We definitely won that game. Definitely, indeed. That's yeah. why... Uh, yep. No. <laughs> Unfortunately, Pepperdine did not win that game, but it actually was pretty close. Uh, like, much better than previous games we've had in terms of how it went throughout. I agree. It seems like the Kaisa just got so fed <laughs> that uh, she was a force to be reckoned with. Kai will carry proved to live up to his name. And, yeah. Just another the Udir. The Udir really can't do that much. Mm. Those early kills don't mean anything. <laughs> it seems like uh University of Calgary isn't uh isn't sure why Liquid Core JJ is here. <laughs> Uh, never gets old. Oh, that reminds me. 100 Thieves versus Cloud9. And Cloud9 does win. Oh, you, you get to keep your caster credentials after all. Unfortunately, my fantasy draft will suffer as some days my top laner. Very mm. unfortunate. But Cloud9 does pull the reverse sweep. Very well done. But right, I'd like to say... Like we are ready, so we will oh. hop into... Yeah, we're getting started. Bands, but you can always talk more about the LCS after. We see Pepperdine banning the Galio again. First ban. So we will not see be seeing any Galio support from our Liquid 4 JJ today. Pantheon, same as last time for University of Calgary. And the Camille ban coming out from Pepperdine. I believe it was the same as last time as well. Maybe a different order. I think Camille might have been... No, I don't remember. But it was banned. It was a Thrash. So Pepperdine identifying the Thrash as a major problem. Well, the Thrush was landing some game. pretty, like, honestly, we weren't talking a lot about Ihabara that match, but he landed some very good hooks on Suyu Senna and was providing a lot of utility for that Kaisa to be able to pop off the way she did in fight, so. That's right. Like Kyle said, I the Thrush is very good into Senna. In that game, we saw exactly why. Just the Thrush flashing on the Senna, just unable to do anything. And Pepperdine first picks Kaisa. Mm. Wow. You did well on it, we'll take it from you, and we'll do well on it now. We'll see who does it better, Suyu yeah. or Kai will carry. Waiting on who and will again, be the first the, Instead this time, the um, Calgary banned Leona in the first round, and they picked the Santa this time. Okay. 
<laughs> Who does it better, Suyu or Kai will carry? Perhaps it's not going to go to ADC though. It could always be support. That's true. That's true. Damn. Waiting. Do we get? Uh, okay. Hack room again. Hack Gonna run it back. If it worked for them last time, I think the Hecarim actually provided a lot of utility for them in those fights. Mm -hmm. It's very true that Hecarim just... I think it was like before one of the dragon fights was able to half health um, to use Senna. And just Yasuo. very devastating. So the Yasuo comes out like Kyle said, it's one of the picks that um, Pepperdine was looking for. They wanted to mm -hmm. pick him the comfort. So either Talon or Yasuo. And this game, we're getting the Yasuo. So I'm thinking they might pick. I was about to say jungle, but okay. Support. Getting the hook champion for Liquid Core JJ. Yeah. This is what we expected out of him. We know we could have thrown in the Shen, but most often. Plus. A built-in knockup on his R, targeted knockup for the Yasuo. Yeah, so here I'd like to see the jungle bands come out from Calgary as they're probably going to use their last, they will actually use their last pick for top lane. So, I wonder what the jungle bands will be. Talia yeah, could yeah. be a good one. They actually ban on top lane, okay. Gragas. What should Pepperdine be banning out here? Top lane picks or support? I feel like top lane picks. I feel like in their comms right now, they're asking Scott what he doesn't want to play against. Hmm. But I would have liked to seen the two jungle bands come out from Calgary because Tyrant. top lane's probably getting a counter pick anyways. Their top laner does play a lot of Irelia. Their top laner's main picks actually are Aurelia and Camille, so. Oh, okay. Probably just making sure that he does not have the option to go back to a comfort pick. That's right. And the Nar band comes out. I think I think Scott does play Nar, so. Mm hmm. A very safe pick and wins lane in most of the matchups. Or the meta matchups. Meta champions. Mm hmm. Yeah. Have to see if they decide to. And what ban? Will they ban Orn? Okay, Aatrox. Might have thrown out. I mean, I don't know if uh, University of Calgary will try Starving Senna. I might have thrown out a Tom Kench ban, but looks like they're going to lock in the Orn for. Uh, That's very interesting. They're choosing to save support for last pick and putting the. Emperor Trajan just... They don't want to risk uh, Scott taking the Orn. I would think. That's also... That's a good point. Scott does default to the Orn when he's blind pick, so... Very now smart from Calgary. Now we can potentially counter. The Renekton is still up. Is that not a good pick anymore? It is a good pick, but... Just my personal opinion, Renekton does fall off late game. Mmm. So he has been looking good due to the gore, due to the gore drinker, but we will see. He did ban a lot of, like, oh, wow, Grace here, wow. Am I? <laughs> that was so good. Five hundred. <laughs> I have no words. I have no words. <laughs> uh, Sorry, that moment when I'm accidentally so five hundred IQ. <laughs> what do you mean accidentally? Oh, that's great. That's great. Thank you. I just noticed but, uh, it was up. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. it'll be interesting. But the Lilia, yeah. Oh, oh. No, go ahead. Really? Is that going to be a, a, a Teemo support? No, it's going to be. No, mate. Well, actually, it might be. It might be uh, messing with us. I don't know what's going on here. But Echo ADC. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure that they're in. LCS order? No, I think it is Teemo top. And it okay. is Fasting Senna with Echo Bot. Huh. So this is very this is very interesting. 
Um, okay, that's certainly something that you can do. Well, in uh, I was, I think I saw one of the Twitch rivals games, and one of the teams pulled out Aatrox bot with a rel. So these melee bot laners, I mean, this is like collegiate league, so I don't think it will go punish this game. Interesting. We'll have to see. We are going to hopefully have uh, Cotty Wapple coming in to tell us a little <laughs> bit about Pepperdine's draft and what's going like... on over there with the University of Calgary. But yeah, this is <laughs> it's it's either you know five head play or they know that they have a game they can afford to lose, so they're trying out something. But I feel like trying it out during your competition match is. Is very bold, but I mean, if they're confident, if they've if they've got the cojones to do it, you know. <laughs> yeah, Kyle will carry on the on the echo. Says, no problem, no problem. Yeah, I mean, he had a very very good game the previous game, so you know he can do what he'll do. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we're going to be able to have. Oh, Kadiwampo did join us. He was in the waiting room. Zoom life, am I right? <laughs> and it's good to see Kyle's face again. He's looking okay. ever so. Oh my oh, goodness, we... your actual wow. face! Wow. I'm ah, a prophet. Okay. You scared me. All right. So, so tell us a bit about this this craziness. I. Which side? Our side or their side? Because I have no idea what happened on the other side of the draft. <laughs> um, Senna, Echo, bot lane, Teemo, we think, in the mid lane. Um, it, it feels like this is a disrespect comp from them where they are picking things they don't think we can beat. Um, so I would expect our guys to go in and smash, right? We drafted Comfort all the way around. We drafted... Well, we did that know, last of... time, too. Yes, yes. Uh, we drafted Comfort um, in the sense of the player said, these are the things that we're comfortable and we're going to play. This draft is John and I saying, this is Pepperdine comfort. This is our bread and butter. This is Nautilus in the bot lane with knockups. This is Lilia, which we've seen success on because it allows uh, Windshield to have agency in terms of setting up plays. Uh, and obviously Santa Masia Yasso is his go-to. So we have drafted something that allows us, this is a little bit easier to execute, a little bit more press the button, go in, knock somebody up, knock them down get objectives, win game, let's take game three seriously. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I can't say as to what's going to happen in the bot lane with Echo Senna. It's, it's solo queue <laughs> shenanigans. Um, I, I don't uh -huh. know. Cody, what's your take? <laughs> I don't, I was just saying, um, if you've watched the Twitch rivals that they've been hosting, um, Tyler's one's team pulled out the Aatrox bot lane and level six with Aatrox rel, they just went in and they managed to kill the traditional bot lane. So I feel like if I was in Tyler's shoes, ADC Tyler, I might get solo killed one or two times because I don't know what's going on. But like you said, this is our bread and butter, and I feel like we will execute on this one. Yeah. We um, we got picked off a lot last game. That was kind mm -hmm. of – we were I ahead. Agree. We were winning in the early game, and then yeah. our mid game that – that one uh, fight where Kaisa got a quadra killed, picked up Tyler's shutdown, was le brutal. Yeah. 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 Uh, and we're and loading so into was... game here pretty quick, so final right. thoughts? Final thoughts. Uh, we told our guys just tighten everything up. Right? We win this game if we play smart. So that's what we're going to do. All right. Thank you very much, Cotty, for coming on stream. And yeah, of course. Thank you. Yeah. We'll see you in game three, hopefully. <laughs> Cross fingers. Yeah. All right. So we are oh. loading in onto the rift. Let's see some shenanigans in this collegiate competitive scene. Come on. All right. I just have to say, if Pepperdine, if Pepperdine does lose this game, then it will be a very devastating blow <laughs> <laughs> to our to our mental here. But I'm confident in our boys. And we the got this. dark harvest echo, not even electric use. So this is just greedy is coming out from Kai will carry with the TP as well and Senna going barrier so this if if Nautilus gets a hook onto Echo he will die 
in this Kaisa Nautilus lane, so I'm I'm very just confused here by the echo fake. Grasp um, Timo. That too. In the mid lane. Let me sort this out. Wait. Okay. I didn't know. So this goes here. This goes here. All right. Lead client doesn't know what's happening either. Hopefully we won't crash this time. <laughs> Hopefully. We'll see if we can actually finish out the game. And I want to keep my eyes on bot lane here. I hope Paradigm will be able to punish this pick. Yeah. The disrespect. Well, I don't know. I'm not in Calgary comp, so... I don't know what their... The reasoning is behind this. Very aggressive start from the bot lane here. And surprisingly, the Echo actually gets the push in. Just use the wave. And again, I didn't watch the, uh, the start. I think Lilia went leashless again. Or... Oh, very, very, very aggressive from the bot side, and Pepperdine is getting bullied down here by the Echo Senna. Yeah, they hit level two, but once once we're level three, I I feel like it'll be better. But Liquid Core JJ and Zuyu sustaining a lot of poke right now. Kaisa already burning through her potion. Good farming and on they, the tower there. And they just have to wait it out. They'll be... They'll be chilling. Wow, it looks like both junglers... Last game, both junglers farmed bot to top, and now they're both farming top to bot. They have like a mind game going on here with the junglers, you just... <laughs> Yeah, but when it comes to potential help from this bot side, University of Calgary does have the advantage. And we see Tyler here, or Lilia here, pathing directly to the stop, to the top scuttle, knowing that both mid and bot does not have lane priority. Actually, mid does right now. Or it's like dead even. TP coming out from Echo. Interesting, just buys a Doron's ring. But this top scuttle is secured because of the winning matchup in the top lane. In a very uneventful <laughs> first four minutes. Yeah. Surprising considering the spice. Oh, mid? Mid lane? Oh, what? Oh no. Okay. Hecarim goes bot lane. No. Recall. <laughs> Hecarim is recalling. And while Hacker recalls, Lily is just looking to farm her jungle again. Mm -hmm. Tower farming from Tyler here, getting his level 6 as quick as possible to make those sweet, sweet Lilia plays. And Scott could be in danger of a gank in the next few seconds. Some aggression here from the bot lane. There we Kyle go. Pushes very low. Pushes the echo out of lane. Doesn't have TP. We'll have to walk back. But the Senna oh, no. really putting up a fight. Being baited here a little bit, perhaps Pepperdine is. I don't know. But Pepperdine has a ward baited. in that bush. Okay. Oh, we see the Teemo flash away. Pepperim is there in the mid lane for the counter gank, perhaps. Santo actually doesn't have an idea that Hecarim is there. We'll have to blow his flash here. So both flashes blown. You can feel the mental energy in this game. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. It's pretty tense. Oh, Lilia it went does chill. get the... Uh... 
Dark Harvest staff. Let's see. Echo himself actually does have a Dark Harvest proc as well. Very surprising. Delays his back. He goes back to farming with the Leo. Mm -hmm. We see a decent CS advantage opening up here on the top side in this Renekton v Orn matchup. And Scott, even confident enough to buy a call. Saying, I got this. And Lilia here. Going for the Leandries build, of course. This game, she's the only AP mm -hmm. source. So, going Moonstone and Staff of Flowing Water would be very troll. Noticeably, a Cole picked up here for the Kaisa as well. Interesting. This makes her just battle or combat strength just, I think, significantly weaker. Although, in that situation, I mean, I, I think so you might have been debating either a coal or a longsword. So, I mean, decided to play Lilia it safe and just farm it out. The Hecarim going up top side with the Orn. Scott safe though. And we'll just have to wait until this drag fight, I guess. Both teams are just content to just farm it up. Yeah, so far we're eight minutes in and, and we're still just chugging along. We do see a slight CS advantage in the top lane, a little bit more in jungle, but for a benefit of about 23 CS for University of Calgary in this bot lane matchup. So that's very interesting. Bot has been playing super safe in a gank of the mid lane. Oh, Santa Maxi's in a little bit of danger, perhaps. And Does dodge the Senna all the the Senna, But Lilia in a bit of trouble here from the Echo. Does go to sleep. And I think Man the Dragon will away. go here. Go over to, uh... University of Calgary. Unless Scott wants to TP here, but... Looks like they will be giving this away. end up going down. A bold back from Kai will carry. Yeah, the confidence. And it looks like I'm really sad to see that the bot lane didn't abuse Echo or them not having heal, so Echo being able to safely make it to level 6 and actually having a farm advantage. So. Very unfortunate early game, but we'll see if Pipeline is able to make up for it in mid game team fights. University of Calgary knows that Lilia's R and Flash is down. Nice hook coming out from the Nautilus, but... As... Oh. The stun coming out on the Kai'Sa. Echo is rooted. W will go down on the Kai'Sa. Hook misses. A little bit of danger from the Hecarim here. Scott TPs to make sure that they do not get dove, but four members from University of Calgary are here. Kai'Sa will heal. First blood goes over to the Echo. Scott does get the kill onto the Teemo, but ultimately that's a two for one in benefit of the University of Calgary. Is that, but as we can see, Lilia is on the map getting Rift Herald and Santa Masi is getting plates in the mid lane. 
Oh, the Lilia is here. The Orin in a little bit of trouble. So he is pretty tanky, and that grass proc hurts Windchill quite a bit. Ekum goes mid lane, stopping Yasuo from getting one more turret plating. Looks like a play is meaning a play is being made. How's Fashion all Lilia misses? Looks like TP and Orn is misses. coming down here at top. And Suyu will get the kill, and Echo will burn his TP for nothing. Fight in the mid lane, too. Oh, Suyu in a bit of trouble. Oh, a beautiful hook from Liquid Core JJ keeps the Echo That's from right. being able to follow up, though Suyu needs to back up a bit. Uh, Echo does oh, burn his flash for that. So, I imagine Kaisa will breathe, breathe a sigh of relief for the next five minutes. Secure that kill. And Santamasi barely lives. I didn't see what happened because the camera cut away, but I thought he was dead there. Looks like character mad old, I guess. I don't know. Did Calgary just troll that? I don't know, but the Yasuo flash was burned. Mm <laughs> hmm. Ocean Drake up here in just a minute. Let's see. Yeah, Scott has the most gold in the game right now. Lilia here uses the Drowsy onto the Orn. Will he go down? No. Nautilus using the ultimate <laughs> for a bit of poke damage. <laughs> they are going to get this turret down with these plates before. Oh, Kaisa is in trouble here, but Windchill does get the kill over onto the Orn. Crazy Bum's Orn. Looks like it was just a bait. The Kaisa had all, all along. And the Orn is feeling pretty bad right now. Only has 400 gold. That Can't turret, really first turret anything. of the game, holding on by a thread there in the bot side. As Notably, as a lot of vision control from the University of Calgary this game. Yes, Pepperdine back there trying to rush to Ocean Drake, but they're just too late. Yeah, they're not going to make it in time. And it will look like an Infernal Drake again this game. Infernal Soul, I should say. It looks like Scott will be able to pick up first turret. So, it's looking like his game to carry now. Maybe not. It doesn't look like he's going to stay for first turret there. Oh. It's now a race. So again. <laughs> again, the race for first turret. As they're making a play Lydia on Kai there. Will Kai will carry going very, very low using his ultimate. Wow, Ultimately, that old damage. No one goes down there. But both from Pepperdine very low. Suyu will die to awesome, awesomeness pizza, I should say. Oh, Scott getting aggressive. Just like and Yasuo. Here. Oh, got a three-man ultimate, but unable to capitalize. And Windchill. Oh. Windchill, no. The aggressive is not gets paying canceled. off here. But Scott does get first blood turret. Yeah, you does can he? see that uh, Windchill 400 was very, very eager for those kills there. Saw the play, but it just didn't work out for him. Yeah. That's just unlucky. Loses his flash and ultimate in that fight.
And just that echo ulti damage just forced Kaisa to back off there. She couldn't do anything. And eventually does get ran down by the Hecarim again. A repeat of last game. Mm -hmm. I just don't know what it is about Hecarim, but it's just a... Just a bane of ADC's existence. <laughs> Talking from experience there, Cody? Uh-huh. My trauma. <laughs> I speak from a place of pain, personal hurt. Um, but... Back to farming. <laughs> But it does look like a, a ping went out from University of Calgary around this Baron. They might start looking for it. Or for or Rift, Rift Herald? Herald? I should say, sorry. We're not that late in the game. It's that late in the evening for me. <laughs> yeah. But, uh... Oh. Oh, it's got a bit cut out here by the Hecarim. Does use his ultimate, but Senna is there as well. Or ultimate as well. A lot of resources being used on Has Gore Drinker yet. again. I think he might. Oh, he is a very scary Renekton, but oh. the shutdown does ultimately go over to the arm. Oh, how many flashes was that? My goodness. Teemo flashed, uh, Nautilus flashed, used there in that mid lane fight. Yeah. And Calgary goes for the Rift Herald. I think the second Herald is not that useful. Mm -hmm. Especially the plates when have gone down. Are down. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Orn and Orn, kind of. Solo ulted, but oh, unstoppable wow. to avoid the sleep. Good use of W there. Oh, and now it's Windshell who seems a bit caught out here. We'll go down to Ihagara on the Senna. Really, Very... really clean Senna from Ihaibara today. And this time we see the more traditional build, the uh, the Divine Sunderer. No, and Echo Ultis? Burns his ulti? Very okay. can, I'm sure Pepperdine's starting to feel this match slip away a little bit with this. 2-0-4 Echo bot lane, 3-0-4 Hecarim jungle, 3-0-6 Senna support. Excellent plays coming out here from University of Calgary. That's right. And I feel like that top, I I felt like Renekton, that was just close. He had two items. Mm -hmm. Dang. Maybe if Gore Drinker killed him a little, if Gore Drinker was a more broken item, he would have outplayed that. I know, maybe Gore Drinker shouldn't be nerfed. <laughs> right. You just need a, a three on one to bring the Renekton down, you know? It's balanced. Crazy Bum clearing out some vision here around this Infernal Drake. I'm sure Pepperdine does not want to give this third dragon over to University of Calgary, but I don't know what they can really do about it. No one's there. That's right. They're looking to give it. Plus, with Wincho at a level disadvantage, the smite steal is not impossible. Well, despite all the Excuse scary me. looking shutdowns, I still think Renekton is the strongest player on the map right now. Mm -hmm. And still has the most gold in the game. Yeah, 9.5 thousand. Wow. He sure can definitely. Scott's feeling very, very scary. Yeah, he can definitely 1v2 anyone on the enemy team. And as long as he doesn't auto attack the Orn, he will be fine because no one else on Calgary has healing reduction, so. Mm -hmm. I think Pepperdine, part mind. of the problem is that they've just been getting picked off. Like, Zuyu is here going to be under turret. Pepper and I needs to, I think, be fighting together. What do you think, Cody? Um, I think Renekton what they're... Here. Oh, we're looking at the Doing spider. work with the TP coming out. Looks like they're switching focus on the Kai will carry. I think Pepperdine wins this as the TP gets canceled by Yasuo. The shut down, in fact, goes over to Scott, which is not who University of Calgary wants to get that shut down. Giving him and back to what you were saying, I feel like... 
what they're what they're trying to do, what Pepperdine defaults to is having their solo laners and ADC each go to a lane so that they can farm the most and be most efficient. Um, it's just about trying oh. to not get caught. Scott coming in, the knockup goes down, the shutdown off the sun, it goes over to the Lilia. Scott taking down the Orn here, does auto attack the Orn, but it's not going to be too much of a problem. Santa Matthew gets Emperor Traja. Kai will carry is in there And now. Suyu just ults in, very bold, and gets blown up and as Orn survives. But overall, very well for Pepperdine, and suddenly seems like that gold lead in that early game just doesn't matter anymore. Pepperdine just falls into their comfort, and the Renekton is just huge right now. Yeah, definitely Scott is feeling the pressure to carry this game, but so far is looking like he's up for the task, though. Definitely Kai will carry on that Echo is going to be pretty scary as he just goes in and pops the Yasuo like, like a grape. Like grape. Five one four, very strong. Ten stacks on the dark seal, and two items completed. Oh no! Now he's going to go for the Renekton as well. Gets the stun down. Two stuns coming out. Huh. One for the other. The doubt the Echo can. Oh, the damage goes down there. Wow! And Kai will carry, indeed, living up to his name. Even Ops to go back in. Oh no, the oh. shutdown goes over to the Nautilus. Okay. Just very confident from the Echo there. Just in the face of Nautilus, chooses to go back in on the Kai'Sa. Kai will carry his first death of the game, and the shutdown gold goes over to the Nautilus. Oh no. Kai will carry buys and Medjai's. Again, just the confidence from this player. Right after dying, he's like, I don't care. Yeah. Oh, oh no, sells it. Looks it. Like he undid. Oh, like he didn't do it. <laughs> it goes for the it goes for the stopwatch. Okay. A little more. Oh, nope. I take that back. Rebuys it. And Timo's camp is camping deep in the jungle. <laughs> Got the whole place shroomed up. <laughs> he's playing the long con right now. He's he's going for it. Expecting Pepperdine to come for this fourth Drake. Unfortunately, uh, Pepperdine's going to go around his little mushroom camp. Yeah, now he's looking. He's probably sweating right now. Yeah, he's, he's a little caught out there. But doesn't oh, but look like anyone from Pepperdine will find Kai him. Saw. Kai will carry, hovering nearby. Kai will carry very, very aggressive there. Emperor Trajan gets the kill. Onto. See, so jumps in. Oh, the ultimate comes out from Kai will carry. Very well coordinated from the University of Calgary here. And Echo does get the 10 stacks on the Medjai. Wow. Paid off. Uh, Santo Masi wasn't there in that team fight. He was top lane. Mm -hmm. And right now, University of Calgary has their Hecarim is getting that fourth Drake, and they'll have Infernal. That's definitely not what Pepperdine wants from this game. After showing signs of life there, Pepperdine seems to be fading fast. Ew, Echo Bot would be such a potent pick. I think it's just Kai will carry is such a potent pick. <laughs> Very well said. As like you were saying, in a team, if Pepperdine does group up, group up and they manage to CC lock this Echo, they will be able to take him down, but... So far, the Echo's just been able to oh, get picks like this. Again, just... But Scott's there. Echo Ultimate and does he's come looking out. to fall here, despite the stopwatch. I think he's gonna Scott go down. Scott wants him. High will carry, goes down to Scott's Renekton. The 
Hecarim is here, along with the Senna. So I have to flash out. So they do pick off the the Nautilus, but this is oh. a... Oh. Kaisa gets caught out and it's popped. As that was a good trade. Until the AD falls. <laughs> Got caught by that Senna W. Oh no, Renekton gets caught out here by the Orn. Or Drinker comes out. He's going very, very low. Does ultimately go down to Crazy Bum in the burn. The strongest player on the side of Pepperdine is now down. As that goes TPing in, this is very bad. Yeah. This is. Ooh. Uses the rocket belt to get the kill onto. Looks like they're just gonna go for the end. Tribal carry does go down to Sancho Matsu here. It looks like uh, Orin will go down as well to Suyu Kaisa. Looks like Senna's caught out here as well. As Teemo, again, going for the stealthy plays. Oh, and. <laughs> wow, and the sweeper comes out from Liquid Core JJ. game but honestly I would feel pretty good if I'm University of Calgary right now uh yeah but Echo has zero medias right now and if they just team fight Pepperdine does win this 5v5 just up to Pepperdine to not get caught just like a mantra, Pepperdine must remember, Kai will carry, must to die. <laughs> Though especially with that Echo ultimate, he has a lot of survivability. It's very interesting, Orn chooses to upgrade Hecarim here, and not Kai will carry. His own teammate doesn't think Kai will carry. I mean, what do you have to say about that? And he does have an upgradable item, so that is interesting. Oh no, Liquid Core JJ will be caught out there. Oh, but. University of Calgary falls back. Flash. Very interesting, because they're just baiting for the Baron. Just... And Pepperdine has no idea. No vision control there. They might suspect it, but. Scott getting a lot of pressure over here in the bot side, though Kai Will Carry is recalling as well as the Hecarim. Mm -hmm. Scott gets a turret bot side in return for the Baron. I'm not entirely sure that's worth. And now Orn upgrades the Senna. Very interesting. Is that a Divine Sunderer on the Senna? Interesting. Yeah. I guess it makes sense. It's one of the most built mythics on Senna, so... Yeah. I have no idea why, so, I mean... I know, I, it took me a me. second, but I I realize now. Because Divine Sunder is a lot like Trinity Force. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Scott gets Kaisa <laughs> rooted. Luckily, nothing comes of it. Yeah. It looks like uh, University of Calgary is pressuring for these last two inhibitors. Most of Pepperdine is focused on mid. Scott needs and to I get think... down there to the bot side to take care of Kai will carry. I think University of Calgary should be- Oh, oh. the Drowsy comes out. They're a bit further out. Well Scott's done. there. By Lilia. Echo forces to Zanya's. And a nice hard... ultimate from Santa Massey. Kai will wow. carry goes down to Suyu. Beautiful team fight and three for O. Oh. An excellent, excellent fight from Pepperdine. That's the kind of team fight we've been needing to see out of them. A beautiful squirrel seed, I think that's what it's called. Lil Lilia picks up two people. Catches two people. Wow. As we see, as we see Senna buys a warden mail. Very interesting. 
she is very tanky, but mm -hmm. not sure about that. She one. is a grasp Senna. That's true. And Hecarim looking to start Elder. Pepperdine should be heading that direction because they do not want that Elder Dragon to go over to University of Calgary. They'll know it's being done because. As Echo and Orn both TP top, or Echo TP's top and Orn TP's mid, Kyle will carry wants to go for the hero play back door. As Santo goes to match him. As well as Scott. As well as Scott. So Pepperdine looking to possibly steal this elder. No, as Santo comes around, he comes to join the fight. Got and a lot of activity going on here, but it does look like this is for JJ and Windchill 400 will go down. He's got TP's in, but I don't know if he'll be able to. If he's going to. I don't. Wow. I was going to say, I was going back and forth as to whether he would not get that kill on the Teemo, but now yeah, it's it looks just like he was just stalling for the other two members of his team to back. Kai will carry to possibly has to save the base. Out. And wow, looks like. Calgary will get this elder just chaos on the rift. Yeah. Sorry guys, I was thinking yes he's gonna get the Teemo, no he won't, yes he will, no he won't. It went back and forth so fast in that fight. And finally, yeah. the Orn does upgrade that item from Kai will carry and most of Pepperdine is here to cover, but as Hecum soloing the dragon. Now, this is very tricky. Pepperdine needs to wait it out. Yeah, but they should Calgary not might. Take a team fight right now. Yeah, but Calgary might just look to back and then just run it down. Yeah, a 8k gold lead here for University of Calgary. That's got to not feel great for Pepperdine here. As this will be the deciding fight here, if Pepperdine does manage to wait out this elder. And Important after their inhibitors. Note, Orn and Teemo both have healing reduction. Grievous wounds. Mm -hmm. For this Renekton, Yasuo as well. For everybody, basically. Yeah, so that'll be very strong. And for Lilia, even, I'm pretty sure she's taking Omni Vamp in her runes. Mm -hmm. uh, but this next team fight will, I think, decide who will win the game. Mm -hmm. If Pepperdine does manage to fight off this Elder, they they have a very good chance. Their their inhibs will respawn, and uh, they'll yeah. be. They it's going to be an uphill battle game. for Pepperdine, but if they can survive it, it'll make all the difference. He's got his top here. He needs to back. Yeah, he needs to fall back. As Kai will carry is heading his way. Probably to try to cancel this back. He will. Even with Elder, I don't know if Echo wins this. Oh, I think he might. Well, he doesn't have healing reduction, actually. That's the ultimate. Zanya's has Scott stunts a minion. very close fight. My goodness. Scott needs a run. Run, Very Scott, close run. fight. Back, Scott, back. I don't know if he will. He seems to be continuing to push out topside. I am not entirely sure why. Kai will carry is coming back. Oh, okay. He is going to back. I think Kai will carry was going to cancel it again. Yep. <laughs> As Pepperdine is actually managing to. Yeah, Still fight off the... Scott's in a bit of trouble here, though, because that Elder is gonna... Yeah. Or Elder is... I think Earth. it's out now. No, he, he just, just killed him. He just normally died. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just normally died. <laughs> I just don't even know what's going on Oof. in this game anymore. Yeah. Oh, no. As the game continues, I hope... Okay, it looks like no one is taking Gathering Storm this game, but... Dang. This is looking like a long one. Yeah. Honestly, though, I feel like 
University of Calgary has everything they need to win, so... <laughs> Well, they the, have Baron now. The strongest member from Pepperdine is dead, so they have 20 seconds to win this game, and I think they have all the resources they need for that to happen. Wow. As Kaisa gets one shot. Like, I was that even a one shot? I feel like that was just like a blink and you miss it, and the game's over. Wow. That's GG. That's it. Well played from Calgary, pulling out the Echo Bot. Yep. I guess we learned the respect Talon ban was not needed. <laughs> In the end, it I know, we would have loved to matter. see it. We, we would have loved the story if uh, the respect Talon ban didn't come out and we won, but that's just not in the cards for us today, so. Good job, University of Calgary. You did great. Uh, especially Kai will carry you were kind of the the star of the show today but everybody from uh, University of Calgary played very well um, Ihabara on that Senna in that last game uh, the awesomeness on the Hecarim uh, even even the Teemo even the Teemo uh, did did great in those fights so good job University yeah. of Calgary I feel like very enjoyable games to watch uh-huh definitely the spiciness in the second game at the very least at the very least it was super entertaining to watch and definitely some food for thought for pepperdine going forward but we still have one more game in the collegiate star league before that season is completed that'll be this sunday not tomorrow saturday this sunday at noon pacific time and then uh, sometime next week, uh, we're having to reschedule from the normal time. We will have our first game in the West Coast Conference, the WCC, coming up here soon. And then those will be each weekend on Saturday at 3 p.m. after this first game, which was rescheduled. So that's our current schedule coming up for League of Legends. So make sure to stick around and see us in those upcoming games, as well as following us at Pep Esports on social media to learn about anything else that we are doing. And anything else you would like to say, Cody, to close us out? Oh, I hope everyone has a good night. Yeah. And thank you very much for the folks from University of Calgary who did stop by to say hi. We were happy we could broadcast the stream for you. And uh, hopefully you got a kick out of seeing your team do well. So all in all, very, very good evening. So 